release of Era 6, we've had some awesome new gauntlets and also some amazing new auras. But I'm pretty sure we're all itching for even more Souls RNG content. So today we're going to be checking out the potential upcoming auras in Era 7 and see which ones we're going to be the most excited for. By the way, quick disclaimer, just because these auras have been whitelisted, it does not mean that they will be added to the game. It's just the potential that they're going to be added. Okay, let's get into it. So starting it off, the first aura that we're going to be taking a look at is an Aquatic Flame rework. Now we all know what the Aquatic Flame originally looks like. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure we can all agree it definitely needs a rework. So in this one, we can see that there's two giant tornadoes. So they're a lot bigger than the original aquatic tornadoes. And underneath you have a red glowing aura and then two balls flying around you as well. Personally, I really like this one because it still looks like a 4 million aura. It just looks a lot better and you can easily differentiate it from the original aquatic aura. And I just also wanted to include this rework of it. So to me, this one isn't as flashy. But one thing that I really like about it is that they've added one extra tornado. So it definitely stands out a lot more. I think the perfect combination of the Aquatic Flame rework would be this one with the three tornadoes, but make them much larger like the previous one we've just seen. Aquatic Flame definitely needs a rework, so I really hope that they add this one together. Moving on, we have an aura called Time Drive. This aura to me is so beautiful. Like, I really like the yellow colors in auras, and this one reminds me a lot of the Zenitsu aura from the anime RNG game. So here we can obviously see there's two big balls that fly around you, and on this channel, we love the big ball auras. And underneath you, you have a yellow glow as well as yellow lightning that's kind of coming off of the character. On top of that, there's some subtle touches. There's cogs that are flying up into the air. You can see some blue and some yellow cogs and also some stars coming from the bottom. Overall, this aura is really beautiful and I would love to see it added into the game. Next up, we have an aura called Paladin. And I mean, just take a look at this aura, guys. As I just said, we don't have enough yellow or these kind of golden auras in Souls RNG. So this one would be the absolute perfect fit. So if we zoom in on the character we can see he has yellow wings behind him and then on top of that he's actually holding a hammer and a shield on the shield it looks like there's a medic sign so this would make the character kind of like a healer but if we zoom back out we can see there's two giant balls once again we love that and above the character there's like a shiny glowing star which is coming down onto the character overall it's a really clean aura and i just love the look of this one on top of that we actually got a moving animation of this one as well and we can see how his wings would move as well as the hammer and the shield genuinely this one in game would just look incredible it's so big yet so clean. Next up, we have a monochromatic aura. Now I've covered these in the past before, yet they've still never been added to the game. The only ones we have in the game are defined and undefined. I absolutely love this one. So the overall design of it is that you're being controlled like a puppet by a giant hand coming through some sort of swirl pool portal. And around you are two floating masks, which are the theater masks where one is sad and one is happy. So overall, it's just meant to show that you're being controlled and I just really like the concept of this one. And speaking of concepts, we do actually get a drawing at the end, which shows shows how the aura was originally thought of. Now we have an aura which doesn't fit the Souls RNG theme too well, but it just looks so stunning. So this one's called Voyager. It's currently rated at 1 in 10 million. It could probably be even higher than that. I wanted to mention this one just because it looks so clean. The only problem that I have with this aura is that, like I said at the start, it doesn't fit the Souls RNG theme too much. So the only way that I could see this aura being added into the game is if it was a Starfall exclusive aura, or if there were extra biomes added into the game which are more specific to this aura. I just wanted to show it though because it just looks so so clean. I really like the design of it and I really like the use of the color purple at the bottom as well. Moving on to another golden yellow aura. This one is called Vanguard and it's a 1 in 120 million. And judging by the size of it, I think that's appropriate. So at the bottom, we have some sort of tapestry pattern and above is the same. And the character is holding a gigantic sword, which is also glowing like a holy sword. I'm so in love with this aura. It's a shame that we don't get many auras added like this into Souls RNG because once again, it doesn't necessarily fit the theme of Souls RNG, but I would just love to see more massive yellow auras added into the game. This one just looks so clean. Next up is a more fiery aura. It's called Ashborn. And once again, you are holding a sword. Not many auras in Souls RNG currently do have swords. To the side of the character, we can see two fire bats, which are flapping their wings alongside you. Above you, there's like a fire ring as well. And like I said, the main centerpiece of this aura is actually the sword that you're holding, which is fully on fire. Now, when you move around, the bats do leave a trail as well and I really love when there's a trail in auras. It just makes you stand out more in the game and if you're being followed around by anyone they can clearly see where you are and where you're going. It's just a really cool way to flex in Souls RNG. Please add more fire auras in Souls RNG. I think we really need more of them. 
Going back to auras which aren't fitting into Soul's energy, here we have one called Desperation. This might just be one of the most unique auras I've ever seen. So in most auras, you're in the center and the aura surrounds you. In this one, it looks like you're actually trying to escape the aura. So at the back, there's like a glass slash mirror door, which looks like it's leading to another dimension. And you're attached to it through some chains, which kind of look like the Nautilus chains. With your left hand, you're reaching out with a key and it just looks like you're trying to escape the dimension that you came from. The best part about this aura is honestly all of the particle effects which are coming from the door and I really like the way that it looks mirrored. It's a really unique concept and yeah, like I said at the start, it looks like you're trying to escape the aura rather than being in the aura. That's something we've never seen before. The next one that I wanted to include is called Exotic Godlike. The reason I've included this one is because we have an Exotic which is a 1 in 99,000 and we have an Exotic Apex. But it would be cool to get an aura which is somewhere in the middle. This is a 1 in 5 million. And I was actually saying to Noodle the other day, it would be cool if we had an Exotic which has two wings instead of one. So in this one, we still have the one big wing on the right side of the character and then a smaller wing on the left side. The only critique I have of this aura is I don't personally like the star above it or the aura below it. It just doesn't necessarily look too much like exotic but with a little bit of work this could be a perfect aura to add into the game. This next one I absolutely love. It currently has a rating of 1 in 4.5 million and it's called Zeus. This one could have a really high potential of being added into the game because there is already a mythologically themed aura in the game which is Poseidon and I could definitely see Zeus being added into the game as well. Personally, I really love all of the yellow and blue lightning effects coming from the bottom and then just the way that the aura flares up into the top as well. You are also holding a spear weapon which just fully adds to the aura. I really love the idea of this one and it could definitely be in the rainy biome. It would be so cool to see this in Souls RNG. Now we have a galaxy mutated and I think this is a fantastic idea. First of all, the galaxy is a really nice aura as it is and I would really love an addition of galaxy which is a mutated type and it'd be a 1 in 5 million. The cool thing about this one is it almost looks like it's centered more around the universe rather than the galaxy and I just really like the colors as well. The dark deep blue just looks amazing. When the character moves around it also looks super cool because you've kind of got this anime stance as you float around and you're holding a blue ball in your hand as well. To me, this looks really awesome. It's nothing too flashy, but it definitely just fits the theme of Souls RNG, and I would love to see this one added into the game. Now, this next one is called Marionette, and it's probably my favorite aura on this whole list. Once again, it's an aura where you're a puppet and this hand's controlling you, but unlike the first monochromatic one that we saw, this one is all yellow and golden and just looks amazing because your character is moving the whole time. So you can see the hands are in action, the fingers are moving the strings, and you're just being pulled left, right, and center, and you're constantly moving. So even whilst you're stationary in the game, you would be always moving and looking active. I really, really like the idea of that. And on top of that, we get a mutated version of this aura as well. So this would be a 1 in 66 million, and it would have an addition of two extra hands, so four hands in total. At the back of the hands, we can see a pentagram, so it looks a bit more demonic. And instead of the hands controlling the character in the middle, they're actually controlling the star above it. So the way that I interpret this one is that the puppet has taken control of the master and is now controlling the master above it. I I really, really like the idea of this. I think it's really well thought out and is by far my favorite aura on this list. You guys cannot tell me this aura doesn't look incredible. Please, Souls RNG devs, if you're watching this video, I think we all want this aura in the game. As the last portion of this video, we're going to take a look at all of the auras which need a rework. So here we have an Arcane Dark, and I think we can all agree an Arcane Dark definitely needs a rework. Right now, it's a 1 in 30 million, and that's what this one is as well, but just look how much better this one is. So you still have the teleport, and it's in purple purple as it should be. In the middle, the character's floating whilst there's these stars flying around you and the aura just takes up so much more space than the current Arcane Dark. Honestly, the current Arcane Dark kind of sucks for a 1 in 30 million, so I'd really love to see this one being added into the game instead. The next rework we're taking a look at is Lunar Full Moon. And once again, I do think a Lunar Full Moon does need a rework because currently we have Galaxy, which is 1 in 500,000, and so is the Lunar Full Moon, but the Lunar Full Moon doesn't look as good. Whereas here, it actually looks amazing. So the character is leaning back, he's staring up at the moon and stars, and it's nothing too flashy, but it definitely just gives it a more of a nicer look, and I would really love to rock this one, because it is still a 1 in 500,000, like that's still not that easy to get. Another aura which definitely needs a rework in my opinion is Nautilus and here we have a version of that. Again, this one should definitely be added just because it's not too flashy but we can all agree the current Nautilus is really bad. Nautilus has a lot of potential behind the concept but it's just been executed badly in the current version of Souls RNG. In this one though, we can actually see just how much more the chains stick out and it actually makes it look like you tie down on the sea. I really love the idea of this one and would love to see it in the game as well. And there's the very last aura we're going to take a look at. It's the Undead Devil Mutate. 
underrated. This aura is one of my favorite auras in the game. It looks really nice against my blue suit. It's only a 1 in 100,000, but I've always just thought it's a really clean aura. So the main difference here in the rework is that the wings are actually flapping, and I think that's exactly what the aura needs, because whilst you're moving around, it does look like you're floating. So if the wings are moving with you, it would just give it that extra special effect. So that's all of the auras that we're going to be taking a look at for today. Be sure to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite aura and which one you would like to see in Era 7 of Souls RNG. And as always, if you'd like to see more videos like this or more future Souls RNG videos, make sure you subscribe.